Hey everybody, welcome to CSSBoss.com. I'm Andrew Kayser and today we're going to be taking a look at how to add a menu item to your WP Admin dashboard. So if you take a look at your dashboard, you will see that there are menus here that are created by plugins and the theme has its own little plugin that I'm using. So what we're going to do is I've been asked how do you create those? And there's a WordPress function called add menu page and you simply supply these little arguments inside of the array and you and that basically sets it up. And then you just need to add a hook for the admin menu that runs that function. So what we're going to do is read this method one right here so we can see um, for users with an administrative capability. So you add the action for the admin menu and then you supply the function name that you want to run when the admin menu hook is ran. So since we, when the admin menu gets built, we want to apply this function, register custom menu page, and then we, we define that right below, function register custom menu page, and then we run this function, add menu page, with our custom menu title, the name of the custom menu, the capabilities of the user, which would be, um, you, you can look up the, the roles and, and capabilities on that by Googling WordPress roles and capabilities. You can go through here and you can uh, find a list of capabilities for like with each version, new with 3.0, new with 3.1, administrator, you know, so what I always do is I come down here to manage options. Like this is the capability that I use to control whether or not a user is an admin or can see this menu. So we're going to come over here and now we're going to do this inside of a function or a plugin, excuse me. Um, I tried this five minutes ago uh, using the functions.php inside my theme wasn't working as you can see I have it here open um, didn't seem to work so I uh, decided well we'll just go ahead with a plugin so we're pulling up my boss ticker um, this is a plugin that's nowhere near done nowhere near even began really it's uh, very very basic the only thing I've done is add an options page to the WordPress menu now we can come over here and see that underneath settings we can come here and see its boss ticker I don't know um, oh well you know maybe it's a little bit further than I thought but there's no submit button so I know I haven't done much with it uh, but see this is this is an options page and we're gonna create an actual menu item so we'll do we'll do this. We'll do add action, admin menu, boss ticker, plugin menu. We come and find that function. Whoops. Boss ticker, plugin menu, same thing. Okay, so instead of add options page, we're gonna add we're gonna run this function. Add menu page. And we'll come up here and see if that puts us right here, boss ticker. There we go. So now when you click on this, you get taken to the same page, but it's instead of it being underneath settings for the options page, we have created a menu page right here. And we can change the name of that. Um this is this right here is the title. So we can be like CSS boss rules. Whoops, whoops. Cancel. Command S. And refresh. CSS boss rules. Yes, it does. So, okay, that's how you uh, you do it. You do it inside of a plugin file, and um, theoretically, that should work inside your themes function or your your themes uh, function.php. I. Uh, I'm not sure why mine wasn't working. Let's actually take a look at this real quick because if I can find the original and watch this. 
Hmm. Add menu. Nothing. Hmm. I wonder. Is there any kind of includes? There's not. I have no idea where they built it. Register sidebar? No. Might be bootstrap. Framework bootstrap. Framework functions. No. Theme options. Here it is. This is going to be right here. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at Bootstrap, see what this does. Add option. Okay. Nope. Use. That's just not working at all. So I guess that's going to be it. And I'll just wrap this up and let you guys get back to whatever you're doing. So if you got any other questions, uh, make sure to hit me up right here. Take a look at this. We got a request a tutorial page right here for you. All you got to do is type in your name and your email address and your question. You hit send and it sends it to me and it shows up right in my inbox so I can get to you and just like this question answer it at my earliest convenience so thanks a lot for watching make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube right here follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook it's all right here and easy so we appreciate your support thanks guys peace out CSS boss back